metallurgy of iron. Now, iron ores available are hematite, magnetite and pyrite, out of which hematite is majorly used in India. So, if in your question it says name the major ore of iron, only hematite will be accepted. So, this is the ore that we use here. So, firstly, the ore is concentrated by gravity separation and then it is crushed and pulverized. Crushed and pulverized means that it is changed into a fine powder and also some air, air is bubbled through it so that it becomes very light. Now it can be now taken from one place to another very easily. So it is crushed and pulverized. Next step is called roasting. Now the ore is already in the form of its oxide, otherwise roasting is done to convert the ore into its oxide. In this case we don't need to convert that, but roasting removes moisture and it also converts if it contains any ferrous compounds in it, ferrous oxide in it, it will change into ferric oxide because hematite is ferric oxide. So it changes into ferric oxide. Then the ore has to be sent for smelting in a blast furnace. Now this is the blast furnace. Now see how reactions take place here. First thing is, whatever is put inside the blast furnace is known as the charge. So charge means what I am putting inside the furnace. The charge in this case is ore plus coke plus limestone. Three things are put in it ore, coke and limestone. So there is a trolley. The furnace is extremely high. It is uh, higher than your school building. So it is very very high. So there is a trolley here that takes the ore, coke and limestone into this furnace. Now when the ore, coke and limestone are thrown into this furnace, there is a double cup and cone arrangement. Now, double cup and cone arrangement is there because the furnace has temperatures which are fixed. Now, these temperatures should not change. So, we don't want to open the whole thing. If we open, the entire gases will go out. That's why we don't want to open it. So, the cup and cone arrangement is a pulley arrangement in which if the ore is put here, it will tilt into the cup. The cup is going to come down into the furnace. When the cup comes down, cone closes the door of the furnace. When you pull the pulley upside, then cup comes up and closes the door of the furnace. So the cup and cone arrangement has two objectives. Number one, it throws the charge inside the furnace and keeps the door of the furnace always closed so that the hot gases do not escape and the temperature inside the furnace remains the same. So now what happens? The ore has been thrown inside the furnace and so start, the reactions start from the lowermost part of the furnace. You have put coke. Coke is coila. So that falls down. So the first reaction is carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide. This is an exothermic reaction meaning heat is being produced during this reaction. Now carbon dioxide is a gas. So it rises up, it rises up and combines with more coke to change into carbon monoxide. So carbon monoxide comes in contact with the ore which is Fe2O3 at the uppermost part of the furnace Fe2O3 plus carbon dioxide gives you iron plus carbon dioxide. So I said the reaction is moving from lowermost part of the furnace. Carbon monoxide is formed which rises up, combines with ferric oxide which is the ore, changes it into iron. Now iron is heavy. It's not going to float inside the furnace. So it falls down onto the base of the furnace. So at the base of the furnace we get iron. Now what happens to the limestone that we had taken? Now limestone is chemically calcium carbonate or chalk or marble. So calcium carbonate or limestone is taken which breaks in the middle part of the furnace into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. This calcium oxide combines with the impurity. <coughs> when the iron ore is taken out from the earth crust, it contains an impurity of sand. So, there, there is impurity which you have put in. 
So that impurity needs to be removed. So that impurity combines with CaO and forms calcium silicate and this is known as flux. So you will be asked, what is flux? You will say flux is that substance which combines with the impurity to form slag. What is slag? Slag is impurity plus flux gives you slag. Now different pores will have different types of impurities. Different types of flux will be used. Different types of slag will be formed. So in this case, slag formed is calcium silicate. Now slag is very very light. So it starts floating on top of this molten iron. So there are two openings at the bottom of the furnace. One gives you molten iron. The other gives you slag. So from the lower part of the furnace, we get both the things. One is molten iron. The other is slag. Now this molten iron which we have collected from the furnace is again the most impure form of iron and the major impurity present in it is of carbon. Right? So I have used two impurities at the moment. One is with the ore. Now ore contained the impurity of sand or silicas, SiO2, which was gone inside the furnace and we removed it in the form of slag. The other impurity which is now present in iron, which is the most impure form of iron, is carbon. So the iron produced in the blast furnace is the most impure form of iron. It can hardly be used for anything and that is why you hear about iron and steel companies. That is all industries generally change all iron, most of the iron into steel.